This is another water current problem. It's a rate times time equals distance problem. But it's where we have to consider the rate of a crew team as if they were in still water and the rate of the current, which changes things depending if they're going with or against the current. A crew team rode 18 miles in two hours going with the current. Traveling against the current, it rode 8 miles in the same amount of time. Find the rate of the crew in still water and the rate of the current. All right, so what we're going to do is make up a chart and we're going to, we need to define two things because we're looking for the rate of the crew in still water and the rate of the current. All right, so I've chosen to let X be the rate of the crew in still water and Y the rate of the current. I usually use other letters, but since I'm talking about crew and current, I didn't want to use C because it could be confusing which it stood for. All right, so here's a little chart. We're talking about the crew going with the current or against the current, their rate, their time, the distance. And with the current, the rate they're really going through the water is their rowing rate, which is X, plus Y, the rate of the current. You get to add some time to it. But going against the current, the rate, you would have to subtract off the current. So that'll be X minus Y. All right, let's look back up to the problem. They rode 18 miles in two hours, and then going against it, it rode eight miles in the same amount of time. So you know what? For this problem, the time is the same for both of them, two hours. And let's see, what does it tell us about the distance? Well, rowing with the current, it went 18 miles. So we've got 18 miles with the current and eight miles against the current. All right, now we have to remember rate times time equals distance. So this gives rise to two equations. So the first equation will be x plus y times 2, which I'm going to write as 2 times x plus y equals 18. And the second equation will be x minus y times 2, which that'll be the 2x minus y, and that equals 8. And so those are my two equations. Now, you can go ahead and do the distributive property, but to make your arithmetic easier, Often what I do is divide by whatever's in front of the parentheses so that I just have the x plus y in the parentheses. It will work out if you do it the other way as well, but notice what happens if I just divide both sides by 2 on each of these equations. The 2's cancel and I just get x plus y equals 9 and x minus y equals 4. By the way, what these equations both are saying is their rate per hour because look at the first line here in my chart. If the rate is x plus y and they went 18 miles in two hours, they really went nine miles in one hour, right? So their rate is really means how much do they go per hour. So there's where this x plus y equals nine makes sense. That's really their rate with the current. It's telling you what that is in one hour and against the current, x minus y is the rate against the current. The 4 stands how much they're going in one hour. All right, now we've got two equations and two unknowns. So I'm going to use the addition method by putting one equation into the other because this falls out nicely. The y's cancel and I'll just get 2x equals 13. And now we could just divide both sides by 2 to get 13 halves or 6 and a half or 6.5 all mean the same thing. Basically, X stood for the rate of the crew team in still water. Remember, that's what X stood for. So they're saying the rate of the crew is really 6 and a half miles per hour. All right, now we also have to find Y. So we can go back to either of the original equations here or after we divide it by 2, these two equations that I put a star by, and we could put 6.5 in for x to get the other, to get the value of y. So you want to replace x with 6.5 in one of the equations. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that in 
this equation, the first one, x plus y equals 9. So we have x plus y equals 9, and we're going to plug in x equals 6.5. So 6.5 plus y is 9, and then I would subtract 6.5 from both sides. And remember, when you subtract with decimals, you need to line up the decimal points. So you've got to put 9.0 here. So y is going to be 2.5. All right, so now we also know y. All right, and then we'll see if this is true. Remember the original two equations. We have x plus y is 9 x minus y is 4. So convince yourself when you add these two together you get 9 and when you subtract them you get 4. And so algebraically works. But now we need to go back to the original words and see if this all makes sense. What we're saying, remember, is that the rate of the crew team is 6.5 miles per hour and the rate of the current is 2.5 miles per hour. And now we're going to check that against the original problem in words. So here's the original problem. It said that the, the crew rode, uh, rode 18 miles in two hours. All right, so now that we know that their rate is 6.5 miles per hour and the current is 2.5, then we're going to check by saying if we're going with the current, the rate really would be adding those two together, 9 times how many hours? 2. So I'm doing rate times time equals, that's 18, and the distance was 18. So that worked out. And then we'll go ahead and do against. All right, so I'd have to do 6.5 minus 2.5. So that'll be 4, right? So we've got 4 miles per hour is what they're really going through the water, that rate, times the same distance, which was 2, and that's 8. And it did say they rode 8 miles when they were going against the current in the 2 hours. So it checks. So therefore, this must be correct, and we've got our answer.